Hey everybody, welcome to a short tutorial on how to upload a peer review from a student perspective. So this is looking at peer reviews from a student perspective. I'm in my demo course here, How to Be a Superhero. I'm going to scroll down to the peer review video assignment. In this assignment, you'll see that I have some instructions here on what to do. Often peer review assignments are multiple steps. And so first you need to submit the assignment for yourself as a student. Then you will peer review one of your fellow students. And so that's usually part one and part two. Sometimes there's a third part where you will need to upload your completed peer review to another assignment page in order to get full grades or for the uh, teacher to be able to give you grades for that peer review if the peer review itself is graded. So just keep that in mind. Take a good look at the instructions whenever you have a peer review. In this case, I'm going to show you as um, Bruce Banner here that on the right hand side, you can see that I've already submitted my video, uh, the Hulk video. And here I have an assigned peer review on the right and it's an anonymous user, meaning that I, I can't see who it is. Of course, when I see the video, you'll see who it is. but um, in this case, you don't see the person's name. This is where you click on in order to peer review your peer. If there's an exclamation mark there, it means that it is incomplete. So when I click on there, I have a few choices. I can click on the video here to watch the video, or if there's another assignment, uh, it might show up here, or, or you're able to download it there to take a look at. Up here on the top right, if it is available, uh, it may be that your teacher put in a, a type of rubric, internal rubric. In this case, what you can do is put in uh, points. If you wanted to add points in there, um, you could also add in comments down below. And then you would save it to save the rubric. You can also see here that you can add a comment and you can save it. Also, um, you can do a media comment if you want to uh, record a video or an audio there. There's also here a place where you can attach a file. In some cases, a peer review, the teacher will give you uh, a Word document in order to fill out for the peer review and then want you to use that Word document to give back to the students. So here you can use attach file, you choose file, you find your peer review form that you've downloaded and filled out and you can open it just make sure that you hit save again so that file attaches and you can see everything's time stamped here that you can see when I go back to the peer review assignment now you'll see I have a little check mark here beside the anonymous user showing that I have given that peer review now let's take a look from Iron Man's perspective as a student that was peer reviewed to be able to look at the feedback from the Hulk. I have now signed into my Iron Man account and when I go to the peer review assignment I will see my own submission up here at the top and you'll see down here below the comment that the Hulk made this is great as well as the peer review feedback form that was uploaded to the um, assignment. One tricky thing is that I can't see from here whether or not a rubric was filled out. In order to see if a rubric was filled out, I go back to my submission details and I can show the rubric and I can see where the assessment by the anonymous user, which would have been the other peer, the Hulk, filled out and gave me my points here and you can see the comment right there from the rubric. Uh, this is one of the reasons why often a teacher will give you a form to fill out. And also it might give the teacher a little more flexibility about uh, the kind of uh, feedback that the teacher wants uh, the peer to give. Well, I hope that was helpful in your peer reviewing as a student. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments.